Now there's one question that I haven't been able to answer that a bunch of people have asked me. AJ, we like Worship Extreme. AJ, we like OBS. And we want them to talk to each other, but I only have one monitor. For a long time, I couldn't answer that question or figure out how it could be done, but that changes today. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So the main thing with um, using OBS and Worship Extreme is that you need two monitors. Worship Extreme needs another monitor to be able to output the display, because um, if not, it's gonna display on itself and then you can't use it and all this other stuff. And normally, like in my setup right now, I have two monitors. Now my live streaming system that I'm using to record this, it can handle multiple monitors, but I'm only using one. So I actually, um, was digging around after we talked about the virtual audio cable and I was looking for a way to find a virtual video cable. Now, I didn't find a program to do it, but somebody, um, it was on a forum so I can't even repeat the person's name, but they suggested hooking up one of these and I had plenty of these in my church. It's an HDMI to VGA adapter. Now, VGA on Windows cannot really be detected. So even if you have something plugged in, and there's no monitor in there, it still shows up as a monitor. And this is gonna be our workaround to make sure everything works. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, I'm here on my main editing system where I actually have two monitors. And so if I come in here to display properties, you can see that I have two monitors. The third one is actually the connection into the um, A10 Mini, so ignore that. It's really physically two monitors that I have. So what I'm gonna do is come in here and on monitor number one, my widescreen, I'm gonna turn this off. Uh, actually, I need to switch this to my main display first. All right, and now we're gonna come here and turn that monitor off completely. So we literally only have one monitor that's showing. And I'll actually physically unplug the monitor too. So we can make sure we get rid of that setting there. All right, so the monitor is unplugged. So we literally only have one monitor plugged in, but the ATEM is plugged in here as well too. So what I'm gonna do to get around this, I'm even gonna disconnect this from my ATEM and I'm gonna use NDI to bring this over so we can see, so I can actually capture everything. All right, so this is unplugged. Now I'm gonna start the scan converter on this system. And now let me bring in my NDI source. All right, so as you can see now I have, I'm coming over NDI into the system and as you can see, I only have one monitor because it's not even giving me an option for additional monitor, all right? And we have scan converter running and it only is able to output the monitors that we have, all right? And that's only one, all right? So just to make sure, detect, didn't detect another monitor. So it's only one monitor that's showing. We can come in here to advanced properties, See, only one monitor is being detected. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this HDMI to VGA adapter here. All right, so y'all heard that. If I come back, now we have two monitors. Let me take a picture of here just so y'all can see what's going on. All right, so only two things are plugged in. This is my... Um, TV that is actually plugged into and then this is the dongle that's not connected to anything. That's all I have connected. So as you can see, that is what's showing up. All right, so what we're gonna do, let's identify. This is showing up as monitor number two. Number one, we can change it to whatever setting that we want. So we just happened to change it to that. So now we have two displays 
even though we only have one physical one. So if we come in here to Worship Extreme, let me move this over so you can see here. Now let's go to settings, because again, normally in Worship Extreme, it's gonna ask for two monitors. Let's see, does it pick up the second monitor? Screen configuration. Yep, it picks up the second monitor. I don't know why it's saying that resolution at that, but let's just check one more time. That's what it was and changed the, the font size, throws it off. But it's showing up as the second monitor. So we can do that as a display. And as you can see, it's not affecting what we're seeing right now. So we have two screens right now. So if we happen to go into OBS, and actually let me come back over here and let me bring up something here. So I'll bring up a scripture. All right, so that's what's going on right now. Again, just to show you. We have two monitors, but the other one is just a dongle that's connected with VGA. So if we come over here, as you can see, it is capturing the other monitor. So let's just make sure it's picking up, OBS is picking up two. If we pick our monitor number one, that's the one that we're seeing right now. Monitor number two is the output that's going into, that's coming out of our presentation software that just happens to be Worship Extreme right now. So I think we are good. So if I, let's say we hook up this webcam here for a second. All right, so we're just gonna have this looking up here from the table at me. Now let's go ahead and add this. Capture device, webcam. All right, so that's that. We see the screen right here <laughs> that's coming up, and that's good. So if I can, well, let's resize it back to the right size. Custom 1920 by 1080. All right, that's better. Let's bring it down just a little bit. All right, so we're at the right size. Now let's move this behind our monitor. Now the question is, Let's get our desktop straight. So say we have OBS here, we have Worship Extreme here, which is taking up a lot more space, but that's fine. Let's shrink OBS down. So we can see both, we gotta play around with it a little bit, but we can see both screens. Um, so now let's switch over to something where we're doing like a lower third right here, all right? So we have our lower third showing up, we're gonna come over here like we did in the previous video, which I'll tag up here. Let's right click, go to our properties. Let's add a color key. Set it to black. And there we go. We have picture in picture, and my, my picture is in the way. Maybe I should have shifted this on the other side. So we have picture in picture, and I'm only on one physical monitor. Now, granted, it's not free. That dongle, I think you can get from Amazon. Honestly, you can get it from Walmart. They're there. Um, you're looking for an HDMI to VGA dongle. Um, and it, it works. So now you're able to run both. Now, I've, again, I've done this in um, when I do football games. I don't have another screen to do this. But I'm using NDI, but I mean, don't worry about that. But we physically have another screen because Worship Extreme needs another physical screen, physical screen that Windows recognizes as to be able to output. And this gets around that. It's a $15, you can even find it for cheaper if you can get it delivered from Amazon. Um, you can get a cheap dongle, just plug it into your computer. It has to be VGA. Any presentation software that where it needs a second screen to output, all you need is one of these dongles or one of these adapters. These dongles you will find in the store. For those who asked, that is how you can run 
OBS, <laughs> Worship Extreme, or whatever presentation software on one system that can give you the lower thirds and all this other stuff. It's just by tricking Windows into thinking another monitor is there even though it really isn't and again i will have a link in the description to this type of dongle i actually ordered like three of these at my church so we have plenty of them if you can get your hands on one that should be able to solve the question for those who asked is there a way to do this with one physical monitors if you like this type of content i appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry this is aj we will see you on the next video later